Leave it 5 one turn right heading 180. It's been all Boeing on the channel of late, and I do apologise to those that prefer variety. However, like anything, my main aim is to always discuss the most interesting and hottest topics, and of late, as you can probably imagine, it's been frankly all Boeing, with development after development. And thanks to their most recent report for the third quarter, we've learned more just about how the 737 MAX grounding is actually taking a toll on their profits. That's where the focus will be for today's video. Boeing reported a drop of some 53% in profits for the third quarter following the now lengthy grounding of the 737 MAX series. When actually focusing on their cash flow, the difference between a year earlier is startling. They reported a negative free cash flow of some US $2.89 billion in that quarter alone. When we actually compare that to 2018, they had a positive free cash flow of some US $4.10 billion. Meanwhile, their core operating earnings fell to US $895 million, or US $1.45 per share. This is from US $1.89 billion, or US $3.58 a share from the same period in 2018. The difference with the share and core operating earnings, and also the cash flow, highlights the severe drop-offs across the board. These numbers are important, as we're now in the fourth quarter of 2019, the same period that JT610 went down a year earlier. Hence, the numbers now will no longer be comparable to a pre-incident Boeing from a year ago. We'll have to track back some two years if we wanted to get a real comparison. And even then, in two years, the market can change drastically. On top of the profits dropping, they said that they'd spent a further US $900 million on attempting to sort the grounded 737 MAX, while also deliveries for new aircraft have continued to fall. As I've mentioned though in previous videos, the 737 MAX has and was always going to play a big part in those delivery figures, as the type is incredibly popular also cheap, and value for money for carriers, which means it can be used widely around the world, just like the A220, A320neo, and the majority of narrow-body aircraft. At the end of the day, they're not as risky as buying, say, an A380 or 747 and not being able to fill it up, and not being able to make money from operating it. With no deliveries for the 737 MAX for most of the year, their numbers were always going to be considerably less, but as we know, it has taken a toll, and it's worth mentioning in this particular video. Meanwhile, the Boeing CEO will also be appearing in front of the Senate and House of Committees this coming week, following the investigation into Boeing and the FAA's approval of the MAX, which as we know, has come under heavy scrutiny from multiple parties, including, most popular and most recently, former employee, who have indeed been revealing a lot more about the process over these recent months and how it felt rushed getting the MAX approved, and also how problems were already present before the aircraft was finally certified. They were simply brushed aside just to try and get the plane out as soon as possible, because the backlog is absolutely huge. There are thousands and thousands of planes that still need to be delivered for the MAX. His comments from this will no doubt be intriguing, but also rather professional. At the end of the day, he's got a company to hold up and still run, and I doubt we're going to get much from it. I don't doubt that the questions will be severe, but professionalism at these sort of things is almost expected, and therefore the CEO's answers will most likely be planned, thought out, and not really give too much away, nor really make them look like the bad ones. What are your thoughts on Boeing reporting a drop in profits of 53% for the third quarter of this year? Let me know down below, and thank you very much for tuning into another one of my videos. I do very much look forward to you all joining me in the next one. Oh,